All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial on changing a scene in Anime Studio or Moho 12. And I'm just going to be using two different backgrounds that I just created. And um, if you take a look here at my layers, what I have here is an exterior shot of um, some buildings. So there's the uh, foreground, which is just the fire hydrant and the bus stop, my character, and the background. And then underneath that, there's the interior with a uh, background. Um, there's a foreground with some chairs, a countertop, my character, and the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, let me just hide the exterior by um, clicking on the eyes. This is not actually going to um, affect the rendering. So first thing, we want to hide the background. So I'm going to double click the coffee shop uh, background and it'll open up the layer settings and I'll just uncheck visible and apply. And that just hid the chairs and that was actually the foreground. Um, but I want to do the rest of the uh, background. So I want to hide the background and the counter and the, the uh, character. So I'll double click the next layer and I'll hold shift down and then select my other layers. So they all turn blue and uncheck visible and apply hit OK. That way just we have the next scene completely hidden which is these four layers right here. So I'll reveal the front again. So this is our first scene. So I'm just gonna go to frame 24 and just animate my character really quick. Just raise his arms. And so just pretend that you have a really long scene and you have your characters talking or doing something out here and then on frame 72 you want them to switch to the interior um, so what you need to do is on frame 72 we'll do the opposite I'm gonna double click the uh, first piece of artwork and uncheck visible and apply and that hides the fire hydrants and again to do multiple go ahead and select the other layers hold shift down so you can select multiple and uncheck visible and apply. So now all the exterior is hidden and we want to do the opposite. Now we want on 72 the interior to be revealed. So we'll double click our coffee shop inside, hold shift down, select everything that's going to be in the next scene and click visible, apply and OK. So we have our animation here, characters moving, and then 72, it's gonna to switch to the next scene, which is the interior. So it's basically just hiding and revealing. Um, now the other thing I wanted to show you really quick too is like, say you want this character to be in the next scene. So if I go to frame 72 and actually reveal him, double clicking him and put visible. So now he's here. And let's say you want it to switch right away, but you also want him to be facing this way and over here and maybe a little smaller talking to this guy um, if you don't make keyframes on 71 what's gonna happen is in frame or the first part of the scene he's gonna start animating to that position so you see if I start pulling it he's floating over here and he's being resized because I didn't make a keyframe um, 
in the first scene and then he flips right there so what you have to do I'm gonna go back just undo okay say you want him to just do what he's doing what you need to do is go to frame 71 the frame just before the scene changes and make keyframes so I need to create a position keyframe so I'm gonna click on him and you see that creates a keyframe and then I'm also going to hover over his um, scaling which is on the corners you see how it turns into a double-sided arrow click on that and that creates a keyframe for the scaling and just in case I'll go ahead and do one for the rotation so I'm gonna click right here on this outside box just in case I need to rotate him or do something and I also need to create um, keyframes for all of his bones just in case we have any movement um, of our character going up to here um, we'll go ahead and do a command A and that selects all of the bones and then I'm gonna do a command F and that creates a keyframe for every bone then we'll go to 72 now I'm going to resize my character move him make him a little smaller and you can see now 71 he's over here on this side of the canvas and on 72 he pops over to the next position I want him to be in and is, he's a different size and because I made um, keyframes for the bones also I can have him in a completely different position and it won't affect the first scene so see how his arms are up here now he switches and it's this new new scene and there um, he's in a completely different place and because I created those keyframes on 71 I can move him anywhere on 72 say I want him uh, over here Uh, or next to this bookshelf and <laughs> doing something um, checking out these books or whatever the first scene is not going to be affected and now he's just popping up over here so that's how you would do scenes um, within anime studio and the other thing I wanted to show you too is if you're having a scene the reason why I make these backgrounds so big is so I can um, do a bunch of different uh, I don't know camera angles and whatnot so you know I can have my characters talking here and then I want to zoom in um, this is where all the cameras come in this first one is tracking so if you use tracking you can see that moves left to right and up and down second one is zooming so you can zoom in or out and I don't use these often but this is tilt I actually never use them <laughs> and pan and tilt and this is actually turning the camera in kind of 3d space so I actually never use either one of those I used to use um, tracking and zoom so say our characters are talking in the cafe here and you want to do a close-up so I'll go to frame 120 and just like um, changing the scene we need to make keyframes for starting and stopping so I'm going to select the tracking I'll click on the scene that creates a keyframe down here I'm also going to click on the zoom, click on the uh, canvas also, Let's see if we can see that. And so there's a keyframe for the tracking and the zoom. So if we want to go like a TV cut, so it cuts to another camera, you go to the very next frame and then you can zoom in and track your position so the characters are on a, in a wide shot and then we're gonna we're gonna do a close-up so on the next keyframe 121 it just pops up to them <laughs> it pops up to the characters in a close-up and then we can do the opposite I'll copy both of these keyframes and then I'll grab the first ones and then just move them to the other side so that uh, makes it go back out to a wide shot so from there zooms in they're talking for a little bit and now we want it to zoom out and then it just pops back like that 
Now, just keep in mind the spacing is the only thing that's making them not animate or move. So let's say we, we're in this close-up shot and we want it to zoom back out to actually um, animate. We can just pull the keyframes apart and it'll actually zoom back out into place. So if I play this, then it moves back out like that. And again, all you have to do is make a starting keyframe. We want the key, uh, the shot to end here. So we're gonna make a keyframe of the tracking, keyframe of the zoom. Next frame, we'll go ahead and zoom. Zoom in, track to wherever it is we want. Say there's another couple sitting here. And so it goes from zoom a wide shot to zooming in to animated, zooming out because the keyframes are separated. And then we want to go to another cut to um, these chairs over here. And I'll just pop over there. And then I can go and do start keyframe for the tracking and the zoom. And then next keyframe, just move it over here. Even if I'm not zooming, I always do both keyframes just because um, I don't want to accidentally uh, not move it. And then we'll go to a shot like this. So zoom in, animate, zoom out to the chairs, to the other side of the room. So that's how you do um, changing your scenes. Now I would advise anybody that's doing a whole lot of scenes to ma just make files for every scene. It's a lot easier to um, go ahead and animate one thing and render it out and then put it together with iMovie or um, Sony Vegas or ScreenFlow or Movie Maker any video editing software because if your car cartoon is too long and it's got too much stuff in it it's going to take really long to render and it's going to be very taxing on your computer so the easiest thing to do is just make different scenes but if you wanted to do something like this where you're doing camera shots and moving stuff around um, this is the easiest way to do it and you can practice this in anime studio or moho without having to create um, any artwork. If you create a new file, go ahead and mess around with the um, library. So go to import, and I'm gonna bring my characters back in. Anime Studio object. So I'll bring this guy in. And put him, um, Take that animation off. Bring him in and flip him. And then you can just mess around with um, practicing with the backgrounds that are already in Anime Studio. Um, if you go to Import and then go to Props, or I mean Scenes and then Backgrounds, there's a cafe already in here. So we can bring that in, drop that underneath, and reposition the characters. Oops. And practice doing, um, well, let's do it. Let's bring something else in. Import scenes, backgrounds. Let's do desert. <laughs> put that at the bottom as well okay and let's hide the desert so I'll double click it uncheck visible apply and then go to frame 48 and we want it to switch to something else so we'll double click the desert and reveal it and hide the cafe double click it uncheck apply now we have the desert scene stretch it out a little bit so we go from a cafe to the desert and again with characters 
you have to make keyframes for positions and everything else. So I'm going to go to frame 47, just really quick. Click on my character. I'm going to click on him. The inside box for the position, corner for the scaling, and um, the exterior box for rotation. And do the same for the other character. You can see I created three keyframes. And, oh, let's do the bones too. So I'll do Command A, select all. Command F to freeze all the bones. Same with this character, Command A, Command F. And then on frame 48, when we change the scene, now we can go ahead and move our characters. Uh, we can reposition them. Um, resize. Oops. And even, let's go, let's rotate him. I think he's jumping for some reason. Same with this character, move him, rotate him, change the bone positions. Oops. And you can see in the first scene, nothing is affected because we've made those keyframes. And it pops into a second scene. So very easy to do. Play with um, the backgrounds and stuff that are already provided by Anime Studio. Um, if you guys don't know, there's tons and tons of characters. Um, I know I said this before, but definitely check out everything. Um, if you go under characters, there's dozens of really cool stuff that you can already check out. Same goes with Moho. There's even more. And this character is already in there. Um, not only that, there's props. I mean... Um, I often forget about the library, but it's a huge resource. So definitely check check this stuff out, man, because there's whole scenes, um, and a lot of uh, free resources that you can use to study um, how characters are built. Um, these are awesome. The CK Animal Packs. Check these out. It's already got animation on it too. Bully. Oops. Let me reveal him. Oh, wait, apply. Wait. There he is. Let's uh I'm just grabbing this character bully. I'm gonna move him over. Oops. I don't know how to fix. <laughs> He's hidden at the very beginning. But let's go to where he is. Resize him. Oh, that's the first scene. Put him. From right here. Move him across. That's a really bad example. <laughs> but there's lots of characters to check out here. I mean, um, so uh, check these out, man. A lot of them are animated already and ready to go. So uh, that's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below. Um, I know it seems complicated, but it's it's not. It's really just a matter of hiding, and hiding and revealing, and um, making keyframes for your cameras and your characters, the positions. So just keep that in mind, and you should be okay. Um, and if if you're having problems, just uh, let me know, and I'll see if I can help you. Thanks for watching.